but okay, he has no control. This guy could rebox this way. He could go out back. He could rebox. Yeah, he's playing from a single box again, and in wood when he should be in brick. Let's get like. <laughs> but look at him. If he didn't mess up his edit there and shot him, that would be so nice. Nice. Box like a fish. Because I can uh, get a lot of fish, floppers. And that's a nice peek. This was nice, like holding the angle with a full charge, and then he reboxes. And then look at this peak. He, he actually holds the edit here for a second just to see. And he, and this guy messes up, right? He swings and he's still got his pickaxe out. So that's a really easy shot. He basically just holds the edit there. That's a good thing. Like, if you play edit on release and you can't hold your edit still, you need to practice like holding them because he basically gets this free damage, right? And that's a lot of damage. 153 body shots, which is ridiculous, but. He sets up, this is better. He sets up his two by one or playing defensive. And then now he has a really nice peak where he's, um, he, he probably, in my opinion, he should have had this edit into an arch, right? To here, he should have done an arch edit on this wall, right? Um, like that kind of, right? And then that would allow it to have a really nice right and peak as he swings back around there. Whenever you make a two by one, always have that center piece, like wall, and then have it open wide enough so you can get this peak. Cause this would have been a really nice peak, but he's kind of blocked by the fact that you can't really move around there, yeah? Nice rebox. Kind of messed up again though. When he rebox, there's no point having this empty box there. Like you need to have that filled out of the wall. And then um have that filled out of the wall and have it coned, and then you can because if he had all if he had that wall control there, right? Then what could he do? He could edit this right hand side wall and then peek out and trap the guy and get control of him, right? The fact he's playing from a single box, like after doing his two barns, kind of a mistake. Nice. Box like a fish. That was really clean. Could, could have seen that. Hey, could have done that a little bit sooner though. This is really nice though. You see, he gets this back wall on the guy, right? He gets this wall here and then edits through it. Um, goes straight through, gets all these side walls on the guy and the traps through, and that's really nice. He gets in a fight here. Let's see approach this. Okay, he just boxed it. That's fine. Like, he doesn't need to build fight this guy. You, you don't need to build fight in a really. You can just let people come onto you. And then play your defensive box size. That's nice. He replaces his wall, so it's full HP. That's a good side rose ramp. Aw. Oh, that was a nice attempt. You see that attempt to get up? Edit on this guy? That was nice. If his shotgun shot there and didn't blank, that would have been so clean. I never even thought of doing that, like flipping the ramp quick and then doing an open edit. And this is the this is the useful thing about having two boxes, right? Which is why literally every single good box up plays two ones when they're defensive. He has this two box of space. This guy pressures this wall and it allows him to go for a right hander like that. It's it's quite obvious, but not enough people do it where he could he could potentially hit that guy for like 140 there with a quick shot, right? Let's back the jump. That was a nice attempt, but he rushed it. Um he he needed to have held his thing there a little bit longer. I've never heard of this guy, but I can just tell he's going to do well this season. Just based on the fact that he's really good and proficient at fighting. And he's got a lot of points as well. Yeah. Nice. That, you see that? That replaced was really nice. He replaced and then phased it, and the guy's like forced to take any battle there. And he's white. You see when he gets this wall, this is a slight mess up where he's editing on the wall when it's 1 HP and it's obvious the guy's going to come in for the spray. So he's better off, in my opinion, waiting for the guy to break the full wall and then editing that window and then going for the shot, right? Rather than just edit out and then reset and then edit again, make sure you wait for the wall to be a little bit healthier and then he'd also avoid this situation here, which could have easily led him dying for guide my ammo. This angle here, when he's fully charged, He's always, always, always going to win this fight because either the guy peeks quick and tries getting a shot off and he gets the, he gets the trade and there's a lot of damage because the guy's like quick peeking, right? Or the guy charges up his shotgun over here, right? He's, he's standing here, really bad drawing again, but he's standing there and he charges up his shotgun 
and then he peeks but this guy he either can just take the trade and be confident winning that or he can just reset because he hears the guy charging right the guy look at look what this guy does he tries charging it for like a millisecond hits him 25 and he gets 125 damage off right oh you got beam let's have a look at who does on defensive here first thing yeah he stops the hard mats this is good only thing is he needs to stop sooner because he's got this front wall and wood so he doesn't get as many off this is good changing levels Eh, this is a bit too much, right? Yeah, the guy harpoons out because he's not connected enough. He needed to just go up one level, do a side jump, and then box up. Probably make a two-bar one, right? I think that's going to be the biggest thing where this guy doesn't... He, oh, yeah, he's playing from a single box again, and in wood when he should be in brick. I don't know. I think he, he's way he's way too eager to get like a counter peak rather than just getting a mini off, right? And all these times, you know, single box. Single box again, the guy gets in. That's nice counter damage. Nice, that's well played. I could have been a lot worse if that other guy was fighting. It was a lot better. He just he just needed to take his time here, right? And just make a two by one box out of brick before the guy pushed in. Because like, the guy just breaks two walls, breaks two hits on a wall, and he's already exposed. And again, I think this is also like a minor issue like beginners make when they're box fighting is, you see how he always puts this cone in this box? And it might seem like a good idea in like, it might seem like a good idea because he can edit it, right? If the guy takes the wall and he's just standing there in the cone, he has to edit and then hold it and then get out the box, right? Versus just being able to quickly like snap over and place a backwards ramp. So you got the wall one shot. He got it set up and he's basically waiting. And if you didn't know, you can you can watch what the circle looks like. So this circle, when it's like about to go, it will fade kind of. And he did it there and he just took it perfectly. And the guy probably didn't expect him to take it in one hit. Then he sets up right and edit. Obviously the ball's low. Charges. That's pretty cool. Nice. You see how he's got like he's trying to get all the different things possible. In my opinion, he should have had this maybe pre-placed, like this cool floor cone up there, right? Because that's just one of the rebox angles. Because he can snap over and take this right hand. But when he sees this guy reboxing, like he should go for the control rather than the shot here. Like he went for a charge shot there for some reason. And that was a nice piece of control on top, man. Box. He messed up though. He should. He has three boxes next to himself, right? Like he has three boxes over this way that he can use. Um, and he's only playing from a single box, right? Especially with a charge, like you don't want to be playing just from a single box because you need to like cross box peek a lot and get right handers. So now he gets his wall taken and his, he has to rebox and waste all his mats and he's very low mats, right? So like this empty this box here is what I'm talking about. Right? He, he should have used this box earlier. And had like a two bar set up from it, right? Let's have it there. Nice, that was a nice close one. Nice cone there, that was really nice. You see that cone over the wall, right? It looks like, if you look, a lot of people don't know this still. Um, like wherever the top of the wall is if you just look somewhere like in this vague area here it will always place the cone over the top of it which is really useful because you can basically just always block somebody off there that's control yeah nice exploit you see how quick you set up that exploit right it's something I was talking about the other day when I was box fighting somebody, but like, don't place the ramp before you're ready to get in. Like, wait for the wall to be 100% one shot, so it's only got 20 health there, and then place the ramp, and then you'll get in. Because this guy does not, this guy has no time to flip the ramp at all, right? Get okay, another key. He dies in a second, so we'll see. Really makes some of those mistakes we've been talking about earlier. That was a bad angle. I don't like that. I don't like that straight on angle. Especially now the kid can exploit it. that ramp, yeah. That's lost. Oh, nice. See, the, the mistake he made on that fight is he set up with like very little control. Only really like the outside centerpiece. But then the other guy made this exact same mistake. Like he's setting up on all of Ramsey's edits. Um, 
and all of like Ramsey's builds. So you see how much builds were his there? The guy's just like screwed. Okay, let's have a look and see how he starts this fight. Down. I don't really know how that. Like he hasn't got the information on the guy he's trying to push, right? He chops it down after the guy's finished the fight. He's not really high enough to do any damage. And he doesn't get any info to begin the fight, which is a bit sketchy. And then let's have a look how he actually approaches the box. This is really bad. You see how he like he has no control. This guy could rebox this way, he could go out back, he could rebox out to the right here. Or the biggest thing is that he could go straight up over the top, right? The fact that he has no control on any of those escapes, and also the top escape, so like the guy could just go for height if he wanted to, is really bad. This is a little bit better, he resets, takes his time, makes sure he gets a good angle. That's floor control. Nice shot. His angle is really well. He kind of swapped up. He did have a mistake there where he was coming in from this left hand peak for some reason. When he now he's resorted, like swapped over to the right, which is a lot better. This is good. Probably should have had this cone control here. It cleans up. That was nice. A lot better. Start of the final, a little bit sketchy. Needs to get info before he pushes in. Like right, that. Instead of taking that, like quick 50 50 he backs up a little bit and then lets the guy approach him like you don't need to you don't need to play passive to force a box slightly you can aggress somebody and then just box up right so he has, this is good he has two bar on it's edit control on this guy almost nice you see how much space he is here nice also um in this fight like he gets that so much damage, he gets white tags. You can just commit because it's unlikely the guy charged up and hits like a max a max headshot because the shotguns are quite hard to hit close range. So you can just get in like this. And especially with wow, attack, like you can side strafe and get your shots off quicker. Those mechs are really good. Okay, so he does this and he also, this is important, he immediately swaps back to his wall blueprint and then holds it, right? And then as, so this guy where he's pre-aiming is kind of like straight expecting a normal peak. And then Frey boxes him in, jumps completely wide. And look where this guy's looking, right? He's looking the whole way back there still, expecting that like standard like Dorito edit um, peak off the top. And Frey jumps out, and then now the guy's in all Frey's edit control. That was really nice moving on as well. That was so nice. Holds the wall, jumps out, so the guy misses the shot completely. And then here, this is really nice. Um, I talked about this in my movement acceleration video, right? But he swings left. And then he crouches into the swing as he goes this way. So he's completely behind the edit. That's really nice. You see how he swings like that? And then now this guy's on this really bad peak. Raise over here and then he can transition back into like a really nice round peak. Straight away. That's good. Another W key. Should have got that control there and blocked the guy off. He gets a decent tag though. Yeah. He does this a lot where he just jumps down. You see like he jumps down with no control. But doesn't really like have anything on this guy. Yeah, that's just better. Yeah, that's good damage. Now he needs to change the tempo, like, go a lot faster, try finishing the fight as quick as possible. Also, not make any mistakes with peace control. This is bad. You see how he's missing this wall up top, right? That's just something that you need to have instinctively come in. Like, block the guy off on his wall, so you can round peek around that wall. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. That's really scuffed. Do you see how much he rushed his peek there? Yeah. Yeah. This is kind of a bad edit. The fact that he's like left hand peeking into this kid. He should just edit the right floor and just Ryan peek him. He's also getting shambles. Come here, I'm gonna knock him out. Yeah, he's not a third party, I think. In a I don't, I don't really like this. <laughs> yeah. Alright, he's not a third party. He just gets straight on the boat. Okay, so this is I just don't like this because he's getting straight in, right? And he's not really getting any control. Or he doesn't get a beam on anybody to begin with. So he doesn't know who to fight. Like, who to engage on straight away. Tries fighting this guy. Only, like, 16 damage. Then gets shot from below, which kind of scuffs him. And that guy's disengaging, right? It's, just, it's not very clear, like, who he's trying to push. He could probably get a free kill there if he played his angles better and played more patient. Before pushing in. Okay, now he's going to fight this guy. This is nice. Window. Oh, he got traded, though. That, that You should never get traded in a window like that. What you're gonna do when you're when you're trying to peek a window straight down on somebody, um, this gets the wall. This is nice. Here, you see how this is kind of hard concept, but like you see how these guys are like the same distance from the wall. Both of them are like the same distance between. 
that means that obviously the right peak is going to be there but he's going to get traded extremely easily right what he needs to do is move further back and then right hand peak he's kind of like at a wider angle from the wall or he needs to come closer and then do a much tighter right peak the fact that they're the same distance here kind of allows himself to get traded he wants to be either closer to the wall or further away from the wall to like stop up the angle that's a nice edit to get a free shot off that's really clean Next fight. Jeez, man's pulling out all the stops. Okay. This kid's been clipped. That kid has just been clipped. Hold on, let me watch that. He started free building on this kid, like. <laughs> Wait, look at him. If he didn't mess up his edit there and shot it, that would be so nice. Parties. These are probably a bit too high, I don't know. Are they good? Nice, nice. Yeah, they're really high. Yeah. What's it called? When it's like when you need to throw downwards nades, there's a couple of lineups you can do. But most of the time you're better off just like eyeballing it and throwing it like towards them, if that makes sense, because they'll normally just go. I like, use the actual blue marker lineup thing. Peppers are really, really strong for keying because it kinda messes up this guy's this guy's over here, his tempo for how the fight's gonna go is like basically shortened by a lot, right? Because phrase can key with um pepper. Also, you can just basically pepper key over water for free. Shirts. And then here, if you need to recycle one of these low pads, what you can do is jump on the front. Like, just jump where that little... You see where the buckles are? Like, there, 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 and there. If you jump on it from those sides, you can just insta-recycle it. So, like, from the front here. Rather than breaking it. Because that wasted, like, three seconds. So, you have to end up high cutting. Nice. That was really nice. You see how I placed the floors he went through? Let's go, Sean. That's really clean. I'd say the biggest thing for our beginner player fully to work on is just playing a lot more arena. You can tell how inexperienced he is with fights. And I DM'd him and asked him, he said he plays a lot of clips box fights, which kind of like makes your fighting in game worse, technically, because you're just used to people playing in a really set fashion when they can't really disengage. You don't really need to go on like full on peace control. But our semi pro Ramsey, I'd say he needs to work on playing a lot more arena as well and making sure his peace control when he starts to fight is a lot stronger. So many times he'll just play defensive and in a tourney that won't really work because other players will just disengage or they won't want to fight. He made it through the opens of FNCS, which is an extreme W key first, and then he played really bad during the first round of week one of the last FNCS. That kind of tells me that he's not good at fighting versus good players because he's always playing defensively, although his defensive is his strong suit. A pro Frey, I'd say the biggest thing for him was just the fact that he was always trying to play um, aggressive, which he's very good at, but he was lacking that peace control when trying to end the fights quickly, as well as when he's playing defensive, he would often like kind of mess up his 2-1, make some small errors like not having the arch edit correctly or not having the 2-1 like completely filled out where he has control on all the edits. This video took a really long time to edit and record everything for, so if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Let me know if you want to see more of these kind of three levels videos, maybe on some different topics that you guys want to see in the future. And make sure to follow my Twitch where I do these videos live so you don't miss them and you can get access to them a little bit earlier. Thanks for watching. See you later.